very good morning to you. Today we will start a new chapter that's called the capital expenditure decisions. The capital expenditure decisions. After studying this chapter, a student should be able to firstly identify the basic concept of capital expenditure or capital budgeting decisions. So, capital expenditure synonyms with capital budgeting. Capital expenditure and capital budgeting are synonyms. So, identify the basic concept of capital expenditure, capital budgeting decisions. Secondly, describe the typical capital budgeting decisions. Thirdly, explain how a managerial accountant uses several stages of preparing the capital budget. And fourthly, be familiar with the conditions for optimal capital expenditure levels. The first question here, what is the definition of capital expenditure decisions? What is the definition of capital expenditure decisions? A capital expenditure means giving up of current resources in anticipation of obtaining a large quantity of resources in the future. Capital expenditure means giving up of current resources in anticipation in the future obtaining a large quantity of resources. The capital expenditure decisions are made by many different organizations, including private firms and the public authorities. So, capital expenditure decisions are made whether in private firms or public authorities. Top management is always responsible for making these kinds of decisions. Capital expenditure decisions are made by top management are made by top management. Capital expenditure projects and investment projects are synonyms. Capital expenditure projects and investment projects are synonyms. The both are related to invest in capital assets and projects. Invest in capital assets and projects. The second question here mention the typical capital budgeting decision. Cases that we face in capital budgeting decisions. Typical capital budgeting decisions. Any decision that involve an outlay now in order to obtain a future return is a capital budgeting decision. Typical capital budgeting decisions include the first case, the first case, cost reduction decisions, cost reduction decreases, cost reduction decisions. Should new equipment be purchased to reduce cost? The first case, the first, the first decision, should new equipment be purchased to reduce cost? Second case, expansion decisions. Should a new plant, warehouse or other facility be acquired to increase capacity and sales? The second case, the second decision, expansion, expansion decisions. Should a new plant, warehouse or other facility be acquired to increase capacity and sales? To increase, to increase capacity and sales. Third case, third decision, equipment selection decisions. 
which of several available machines should be purchased which which of several available machines should be purchased equipment selection decisions equipment selection decisions which of several available machines should be purchased fourthly lease or buy decisions lease or buy decisions should new equipment be leased or purchased so the fourth decision lease or buy lease or buy and a new equipment should be leased or should be purchased lastly equipment replacement decisions should all the equipment be replaced now or later should all the equipment be replaced now or later what are the stages of preparing the capital budget the stages of preparing the capital budget are as follows a management accountant prepares the capital budget by taking into consideration five stages as follows firstly determination of volume of a budget determination of volume of a budget volume of a budget identification of volume of a budget the accountant is required to identify how much available how much available to spend on a capital proposal here we need to differentiate between autonomy autonomous investment centers and subsidiaries regarding autonomous investment centers the volume of spending on the capital proposal is a controllable variable by considering of both a general control of an organization and a demanding on investment funds on the other hand the volume of the budget in subsidiaries is subject to adjusting whether increased or decreased so the volume of the budget in subsidiaries in subsidiaries is subject to adjusting adjustment to increase or to decrease secondly searching for suitable investment proposals searching for suitable investment proposals the searching of suitable investment proposal is the most important stage is the most important stage in the process of preparing a capital budget organizations must apply an accurate system to develop a pool of investment proposals in terms of management of research and development so we have to develop a pool of investment proposals a pool of proposals investment proposals in terms of research and development department however investment proposals that are eliminated during previous years may be recently re-evaluated depending on new relevance information of operation and markets so investment proposals that are eliminated rejected during previous years may be recently re-evaluated depending on new relevance information of operation and markets and taken into consideration thirdly evaluating of relevance investment proposals they should be classified by using 
many different evaluation techniques that we didn't study in the first chapter evaluation techniques such as discounted cash flow methods payback method and simple rate of return the payback method is the most widespread method in evaluating and eliminating irrelevant investment proposals and then complicated evaluation techniques such as present, net present value and the internal rate of return discounted cash flow methods discounted cash flow methods are used to evaluate the rest of investment proposals after finalizing the evaluation process decision makers must accept a proposal and the implementation process starts fourthly monitoring process it refers to control monitoring refers to control on capital budget decision since the implementation of a project it's based on a comparison between budgeted figures and actual results the comparison helps in determining short-term obstacles and then taking appropriate corrective actions the monitoring process is done by a comparison between budgeted figures and actual results Fifthly, post auditing capital budget, although the monitoring process is perform, performed, it should be possible to step back and examine how well or badly, how well or badly the project is performing as compared to initial expectations. Post auditing capital budget will be discussed in details in coming sections and we did already discuss post auditing capital budget so here we are talking about capital expenditure decisions we did study three or four questions the first question is what is the definition of capital expenditure decisions the definition of capital expenditure decisions and then the typical capital budgeting decisions and we did study the cases of decisions that should be made by top management and what are the stages of preparing capital budget we did a study three questions we did study three questions question number one related to the definition of capital expenditure decisions and the second question is related to the typical capital budgeting decisions and lastly the stages of preparing the capital budget thank you